What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, my beautiful people, we are on the way to 500,000 subscribers, man. So the next stop is going to be 600, obviously. But look, man, we're going to have a giveaway for the 500. We're going to turn up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let y'all know what the prize this is going to be. But I'm definitely going to give y'all something. You know, my real ones. And as far as the Patreon, I know y'all been wanting the Patreon. I got that coming. Just be patient. I, when I drop it, I want it to be random, and I want the people that got their notifications on that want to join it. My first, like I said, the first 1,500 is in there. I might stop the group. I might not let nobody else in. So first come, first serve. I'm not holding the line for nobody. But, you know what I'm saying, if y'all want to get to this chicken, because that's what y'all want to make, y'all want to make some money, you feel me, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. But, uh, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, we got this when eating exotic foods go wrong video, you feel me, we got to get this video right here to like 5,000 likes, you know what I'm saying, we got to run this thing up, so let's hop into this video, hopefully y'all having a good day, you going to have even a better one after this video. In September of 2016, 10 days after her wedding, English woman Christine Fenson and her partner were honeymooning in Mexico. During the trip, the 54-year-old had a group of fish dinner, which made her severely ill. Her condition rapidly deteriorated, that fish and gross. Fensum suffered a fatal heart attack. attack. Her death was subsequently attributed to ciguatera fish poisoning. Symptoms include numbness, weakness, vomiting, diarrhea, and in rare cases like Fensum's, heart complications. In recent years, ciguatoxin has reportedly become more prevalent in reefs around the world, including in the Gulf of Mexico due to global warming. It's originally made by a marine organism called Gambia discus toxicus, which grows on and around coral reefs. The organisms are consumed by herbivorous fish, which then fall prey to larger carnivores like grouper, barracuda, sturgeon, or sea bass. By moving up the food chain, the toxins become more con- Well, that just did it for me. No sea bass. That shit's dead, like. <laughs> Concentrated. Number 10. Uh, that, that family pufferfish poisoning. In 2019, two residents of Pro... See, I don't even know why you out here eating pufferfish, though. Like, we all know about that, right? Like, you gotta be living under a rock if you don't know what pufferfish is. It's dangerous, bro. Bolingo in East Java died and two others fell violently ill following severe pufferfish poisoning. Like, look at it. You're By not Dalby, supposed to eat that. His wife, Suhaina, and their sons had caught and prepared the fish. While considered a delicacy in some cultures, these animals are among the most poisonous vertebrates in the world. The liver and skin may contain tetrodotoxin, which is roughly 1,200 times more toxic to humans than cyanide. That's what they say. doesn't have an antidote. In Japan, the pufferfish dish is called fugu, and chefs train for years in learning how to prepare it. According to one of the younger members, the family had eaten the same species before without any health complications. On February the 8th, however, they started feeling nauseous, dizzy, and their throats felt warm. They were taken to a health center where the parents were pronounced dead while their sons received supportive treatment. I'm saying. Number nine. Look, man, y'all risking it to taste something that's dangerous? Y'all thrill seekers out here, let me know in the comments. Say yes or no. Just leave it at yes or no that you're gonna try this. And you know what I'm saying? I, I need to check y'all out. You know, like, wow. That's a no for me, dog. That's a strong no. Absolutely not. Jeanette LeBlanc. In September of 2017, Texas woman Jeanette LeBlanc was visiting family in Louisiana. While there, she went crabbing and also bought a bag of raw oysters from a market in West Wigo. LeBlanc and her friend reportedly ate about two dozen oysters together. Roughly two days later, LeBlanc had trouble breathing and a rash on her legs. The 55-year-old woman thought it to be an allergic reaction, but she'd actually contracted flesh-eating bacteria Ooh. and developed a condition called vibriosis. It's caused by vibrio bacteria, which can come from contaminated shellfish or enter the body through an open wound oh. in brackish water or salt water. It's particularly dangerous for people with compromised Ooh. immune systems and, in severe cases, may result in limb amputation oh. or death. LeBlanc gradually became worse as the infection wrought havoc on her legs. The woman would spend the next 21 days fighting for her life until she ultimately succumbed to the disease in mid-October. Wow. Number eight. One. Like, look. Like, look. I always thought about that, too. If something was to happen like that, bro, I lose my legs or something, bro. Like, you know what? I just, just rather, like, you know, just let me go, G. Like. Tana Fuchko. 
in spite of their common name, horseshoe crabs are more closely related to spiders and scorpions than they are to crustaceans. Some of the crab species are poisonous, while others are safe to eat. Therefore, misidentification can produce tragic results. 46-year-old Watano Fuchko from Phuket, Thailand, had collected over a dozen horseshoe crabs that's from like a, a forest mangrove. That's just like a rose. She believed them to be a harmless variation, but they were actually Carcinoscorpius rotundicuda, which often contain lethal tetrodotoxin. After Fuchko grilled and ate a crab, she vomited and couldn't walk straight. As her mother took her to the hospital, the woman's condition worsened. An ambulance was called, which intercepted them, but in spite of the emergency responders' CPR attempts, Fuchko was pronounced dead. Woo! Hers wasn't an isolated case, and in the past, the Thai Ministry of Public Health had warned that consuming mangrove horseshoe crabs can be deadly. Number eight, Wang. In 2020, a Chinese man only identified as Wang suffered horrific health complications, which doctors believed were a result of his exotic food preferences. Wang's diet often included crayfish, live river snails, and raw seafood on one- Them, 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 them river snails, bro, them shits can be so toxic, bro. They carry so many parasites and diseases, bro. Like, it don't make no sense, bro. Like... Occasion, he even ate a raw snake gallbladder. Why? For months, the man had trouble breathing. He went to a hospital in Zhujiang, in eastern China's Jiangsu province. It was there that a CT scan revealed that his lungs were riddled with worms. The condition wow. called paragonomyosis wow. is caused by a parasitic flatworm, commonly known as the lung flu. I know it! It's a foodborne illness that can last for years, with symptoms resembling those of pneumonia or stomach flu. Doctors immediately began treatment in an effort to rid Wang of the worm infestation in his lungs. Bro, imagine having worms in your lungs, bro. Is it? Look, man, just answer this question for me. Is it worth it out here eating these type of foods that's going, bro? It's not. Look, it's hands down, bro. It's not. Let me know. In the Is it worth it or not? That shit ain't worth it to me. Kevin Davis. I'm just going to eat me some grass. In November of 2018, the Jamaican teenager lost his life as a result of acute Aki poisoning. Shortly after leaving his home, 19-year-old truck driver Kevin Davis had breakfast at a restaurant. It consisted of corn, pork, and ackee, an exotic fruit from the soapberry family. The national fruit of Jamaica, ackee is among the country's most popular food items. The arrows, which are the outgrowths that cover the seeds, have been described as a delicacy when ripe and properly cooked. However, parts of the fruit that aren't ripe contain toxins called hypoglycin A and hypoglycin B. They're the primary cause of Jamaican vomiting sickness, an acute condition that's potentially deadly. Davis collapsed almost immediately after eating his breakfast and was pronounced dead at the scene. Wow. His grieving mother suspected that the teenager might have been intentionally poisoned since the onset of symptoms was so sudden and violent. Number five. Wow. Dead from live octopus. Like, like, look, man, you out here eating something regular. That's sad that that happened, though, man, because you out here eating something regular in your diet, you know what I'm saying, that y'all eat, and you, you pass from that, bro? Bro, you ain't safe out here in these streets, man. Just eat you some grass like I'm about to start doing. It better be green like my green screen in the back. I'm telling you. In South Korea, eating live octopus is considered a delicacy, <laughs> but there's also a serious choking hazard that comes with the practice. Younger octopi are consumed whole while larger ones are cut up and their still moving tentacles are ingested. Since the suction cups That's on gross. the limbs are still active, pieces can get lodged in a person's throat. In April of 2010, a man only identified as Kim checked into an Incheon City motel with his girlfriend after buying two live octopi. The woman named Yoon stopped breathing after eating one of the animals. She was rushed to a hospital where she died 16 days later. Wow. While initially considered an accident, the case was also investigated as a potential murder at the behest of the victim's family. Yoon had reportedly taken out a life insurance policy prior to her death of an estimated $190,000, with Kim as the sole beneficiary. The case made it to South Korea's Supreme Court, where Kim was eventually acquitted. Wow. Number four, bullfrog poisoning. In March of 2017, an unnamed man from South Korea died after eating a poisonous toad. The 57-year-old was part of a group of men who'd caught five amphibians near the city of Daejeon. A few days later, the men cooked and ate them at a restaurant. 
After the meal, the victim started vomiting, was rushed to a hospital, in spite of supportive treatment attempts. Y'all here cooking toads, bro? Toads. Toads, okay. All right, man. He suffered fatal cardiac arrest the following morning. Got it. The others in the group reported similar symptoms, but they survived. Police submitted leftovers of the dish to a laboratory for analysis. They found that it contained traces of bufotenin, a psychoactive compound that is typically found in toad toxin. The poisonous amphibians look similar to bullfrogs, which is how the tragic misidentification had occurred. Bufotenin, which is also found in mushrooms and some plants, is related to other psychedelics like psilocin and DMT. While in some circles it's sought after for its psychoactive effect, the man had unknowingly consumed a lethal dose. Number wow. three, hand amputation. In August of 2018, an elderly South Korean man had his hand amputated after developing a severe infection from a raw seafood dish. 12 hours after the meal, the 71-year-old's hand had become horribly swollen Ooh. and caused him excruciating pain. Doctors were able to drain the blisters and excise the infected tissue, ah. after which the man was prescribed antibiotics. The treatment failed in combating the disease and necrotizing ulcers started forming on the man's hand. Ooh. The damage was extensive and the infection was still spreading, so doctors had no choice but to amputate the limb. Damn. By consuming raw seafood, the man had contracted the flesh-eating bacteria Vibrio vulnificus. Vibrio the vulnificus. Between the moment he consumed the dish and the amputation was only Ooh. 25 days. Today's topic was requested by Gorilla. And hey, that's crazy as hell. That's crazy, bro. Wow. The Warfare, Timur Gunner, and Dana Ripley. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number two, Raw Marmot Plague. In the spring of 2019, a small town on the border between Russia and Mongolia was quarantined following a disease outbreak. A couple had consumed the raw marmot innards, which they believe would have beneficial health effects. They ate Hell the animal's no. gallbladder, kidney, and stomach. Before long, the couple, who were both in their late 30s, fell violently ill. The man succumbed to multiple organ failure within a week. The woman started vomiting blood and suffered excruciating headaches. She died in the hospital from toxic shock. Their deaths would later be attributed to septicemic plague. Mm. It's among the plague variations that were part of the Black Death, which wrought havoc on Europe during the 14th century, killing millions of people. Officials decided to quarantine the town due to suspicions that the victims had actually developed pneumonic plague. The most severe form of the disease and the only one that can spread from person to person. Mm. Roughly 118 people believed to have had contact with the couple were isolated and given antibiotics. Others in the town with a population of about 1,300 had their movements limited and most remained inside for fear of catching the disease. Mm. The lockdown was lifted after no new cases of plague emerged. Number one. That's crazy, bro. There's always somebody out here doing something stupid. I, I mean that. Something stupid, bro, that affects everybody, bro. Like You want to be out here eating rats and then you get everybody sick. And you, you getting everybody kicked. Man, that's crazy, man. Just like the whole COVID situation. Man, it's crazy, man. All this junk is crazy. Unnamed South Korean man. In August of 2019, a South Korean man passed away after he choked on an octopus dish. The 71-year-old was at a seafood restaurant and had ordered a meal that involved chopping up and seasoning the animal's tentacles. In the summer months, the dish is considered a stamina booster in South Korea. The tentacles were, however, still wriggling when the man started eating them. Mm. The suckers blocked his airways and he immediately started signaling to those around him that he had trouble breathing. Restaurant staff called the emergency services, but unfortunately, they arrived too late to save the man's life. Thanks for Damn. watching. Damn, they should have... I mean, look, man, you out here eating that strange food, you feel me? Like, I'm not eating nothing that's still moving, you feel me? Like, that shit's still alive, all that. Like, I'm not eating no rats. I'm not eating no raw foods like that. Like, that's crazy, man. You know, like, well, sushi. You know, I love sushi, but you know, like, <sighs> we risking our lives with everything we eat. You feel me? But look, uh, let me know what's foods. Let me know what's one of these, you know what I'm saying? It's just like ridiculous. I think these people are here eating the rats and stuff like that. Bro, y'all bringing stuff back, man. I don't, I don't rock with that, you know, like, 
other everything else like the seafood and stuff. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of a touchy topic when it comes to this. But for educational purposes, you know what I'm saying, it's good to inform people what's out here. Everybody just be oblivious to certain things. But, you know, hopefully y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all learned something from this video. I know I have. And uh, I'm just going to eat grass for the rest of my life, like I said. But I'll see you on the next video. Like I always say, spread love. Because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you on the next video. And I'm out, though. Blah.